All right, folks, welcome to another beer review. And uh, we've got something that should be a little bit special. Uh, a beer that uh, both Adam, Mosey Beers, and Craig can beer reviews. I think Rob from Hop Scene uh, might have also had this at the same time. Uh, but this is Hop City 2021, The Resurrection, brewed by uh, Northern Monk in collaboration with Other Half and Sagavore and using uh, hops provided by Yakima Chief Hops. So it's a double dry hopped IPA, 7.4% ABV, obviously for the uh, upcoming, am I joking? No, it got pushed back, didn't it? So what day is it now? It's the 30th of July. I'm not sure when it is. I think beer lists and brewery lists have been released. But anyway, by the time, <laughs> by the time we actually get this uploaded, we, I mean, me, by the time, I mean, I, by the time I get this uploaded, I think Hop City will have um, been and gone. So yeah, the UK's, UK's first Hop Forward beer festival. And uh, as is usually the case with the special releases from Northern Monk, it's got one of those peelable labels. Fantastic. So obviously you've got some information regarding Hop City there. Um... A celebration of the humble hop, Hop City brings some of the leading masters from around the world to the UK. So you've got the likes of Amity, Overtone, Flock, Neon Raptor, Pomona, Island, Track, Don Zoko, Other Half, War Pigs, ooh, War Pigs, Tool, Sierra Nevada. I'd be interested to see what they'd have at a festival like this. Uh, I'm not going to list off all the breweries mentioned on here because that would be a, a royal waste of your time. Uh, but there's some nice photography from festivals gone by uh, i've always wanted to try um op city but it's never never worked out um i'm gutted that i didn't go to i think it was the the second one where like craig rob harry jake um stuart i think was there as well as many as a few others went to there i think that was like the year after the first one so the second one but uh, yeah, so having missed out on our annual celebration of hops last year and the spirit of collaboration and unity that comes with it, it's time for the resurrection. Hop City has always been an international affair and this year's official Hop City beer is a testament to that friendship without borders, with Zagavor and other half representing the festival's European and North American contingents. While the festival itself gives a whole give itself gives us a whole weekend for catching up and reminiscing. This beer is about looking to the future, with Yakima Hop providing the brand new Cryo Pop and Talus Cryo Hops, as well as the still experimental HBC 586 variety, which combined with Citra, Mosaic and Idaho 7 for a double IPA packed with tropical and orchard stone fruit aromas, citrus and an underlying lying layer of piney dankness. Other half, for me, probably one of my favourite American breweries who do these sorts of beers. Um, but that being said, here in the UK and across the world, we're getting to that point, if not succeeding, some of the uh, American stuff, which is becoming a lot easier to get hold of in the UK. So we're getting a lot of variety and a lot of exciting beers from breweries uh, that we have always wanted to try. In fact, when I was at Northern Monk, um, I got a few beers. I can't remember what American breweries there were. Um, but yeah, and, and nine times out of ten, you're not paying an arm and a leg like you would have had to. And uh, yeah, I look like a drowned rat, um, as I always do. Uh, this isn't sweat this time. Uh, it's just because it's absolutely pissing down today, which I'm thankful for because fuck the sun, both the newspaper and the floating fireball in the sky, which could kill us at any time. And uh, yeah, fuck the heat. Although it's not a bad film. So I would say it's a great film, but I've not watched it halfway through because I started watching Heat at about like nine o'clock in the evening, realised it's like two and a half hours long and I've just fucked up the uh, the angle there. Not that it matters, you just get more cleave. Well, it's not cleave. I've pushed them together. Well, you can't really tell. You just get jumbled letters on the sweatshirt. It's nice to be wearing sweatshirts again and not sweating your absolute bollocks off. 
Anyway, so let's get this poured and see what we get. So I picked up a can of this uh, while I was in Manchester with both Adam and Craig. Adam unfortunately had left by then because he had to get his train home. Um, I should have left a lot earlier because I only got back home at about phew, between midnight and one o'clock because um, last minute train cancellation because not enough drivers. So thank you, Northern Rail. Thank you so much. But I can't be too angry at Northern Rail because uh, I was because I was a little bit pissed on a coach home with rowdy people and uh, a woman clearly having a domestic with someone over the phone, which was fun. But I had a peppered steak slice to uh, keep me going. Um, I can't like, be too angry at them because it's all down to this fucking track and trace app, which is working too well. Um, you can't say it's not working. Uh, it's just it's working too well and pinging people. You could be literally just driving past someone in two completely different cars coming from two completely different areas. And if the app detects that radius and you've got the app, then, of course, there's a chance you might get pinged. So it's having a massive knock on effect with um, a lot of people. Some people call it the pingdemic. Anyway, that's great conversation to get your video shut down. Because, God forbid, you mention anything about probably one of the, if not the biggest thing happening to us. And it's having a knock-on effect to our festivals and breweries and the hospitality industry as many other industries. So, <sighs> relax. It's weird not wearing a mask. Anyway, beer in the glass then. And, uh, yeah, it's a little bit darker, more on the turbid side. The light is catching it a bit more. The way I'm seeing it's a little bit darker, but it does look really nice, doesn't it? Uh, it looks dense, sort of like mango puree or puree of some yellowish fruit. Could easily be pineapple puree, could easily be peach puree. You name it. Or like the sort of um, puree you get on top of fruit yogurts. <laughs> um, just a lining of white head, but I'm guessing that's down to the pour. So... Let's give it a swirl and a sniff. Oh my god, that smells wonderful. It's reminding me of... It's reminding me of interruption there. It's a good job I don't wear a fucking belt. That's a joke, by the way. It's a terrible joke as well. Had soft citrusy. I'm getting tangerines, blood orange, loads of citrus in this. Um, what's it called? Clementine. It's like being very specific now. You know, you can get the bottles from Tesco of Clementine juice. Other supermarkets are available. And it's like opening that. It's massive, massive Clementine. Isn't there like a song from the 30s or something? Oh, my Clementine. Shut the fuck up, Peter. There's a subtle dank note there. I am getting a little bit of peach. You do get that. What I'm noticing a lot more in IPA is like a sort of pineapple as well. Tinned fruit salad. Oh man, that smells absolutely wonderful. The sweetness on the nose alone is just to die for. Anyway, so without any further ado, let's give it a taste. That was really corny. Cheers. It's soft, it's rounded. The dankness comes in on the front of the beer. Notice that straight away. The front to mid part of the uh, drinking experience. Definitely getting that dank edge. Um, there's a gentle sweetness. It's not overtly sweet. Uh, the nose would lead you to believe 
how deceptive of it um that it would be a little bit more sweeter than you would expect but thankfully it's not too sweet because some ipas can be just a little bit too much you get the slight sharp acidity of citrus coming through definitely get grapefruit which is always welcome there's a slight herbal character there That's nice. Nice, gentle body to it. Nice and silky smooth. It's not the boldest, but why do we why do we point that out? I don't know. I mean, you've got three absolutely fantastic breweries coming together, doing a style that they are amongst other styles, obviously. Uh, but it's 2022. 2020, it's 2021, you're not bad. It's 2021. 2022. Uh, it's 2021. Keep saying it, Peter, because that's what people want to hear. The year is 2021. And pretty much every brewery, when it comes to IPAs, are brewing this style of IPA. Um... I've been lucky to have a few beers from other half. All of them have been wonderful. Triple Mile a Daydream is by far one of the greatest IPAs I've ever had in my IPA drinking life. Um, Sagavor, I've had a couple um, thanks to when I was part of the Mikola Beer Club. Um and they produced some fantastic ones that have had some collaborations. Uh, they did a really beautiful triple fruited goza with, uh, or they did two, I think. They did like a sort of a tropical one and then a dark berry sort of one with like blueberries and that sort of stuff with track. Have I had a stout that Sagaflor have been involved in? I think so. Did they, did they have one that they did with like Seven Islands or something? I don't know. Look at me name dropping. Um, even though I am the most irrelevant beer tuber on this platform. Because uh, I'm happy. Because uh, I talked about this in the live stream. Uh, when I was meeting up with Adam and Craig, they'd obviously been to uh, the Manchester Craft Beer Festival. And when I was in Victoria train station, um, I saw a collective of people. And I noticed Johnny from the Craft Beer Channel. Couldn't see Brad. Probably did. Um, I also saw... Um, Jack from Love Lane, and I'm sure the rest of them were pretty much brewers or you know, people within the scene. And I was very lucky enough to uh, just walk past them without anybody stopping me. Now, I hate getting recognised in public. It's only happened on a handful of occasions, but I hate it when it happens. So I'm happy to be irrelevant I'm happy that no one really likes my beer review channel. Aside from the ones who do, and I do greatly appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, what was the point in that story? I don't know. But, um, yeah, you've got three fantastic breweries who are all very good at the uh, IPAs. And it shows in the final product. Um, is it, you know, can... boop, 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 boop. is it contender of the year, like IPA contender of the year? A stiff competition. Um, but is it a damn good IPA? Heck yes. Uh, apparently it's even better on tap. Which you do notice differences between uh, keg and can. But I'll tell you what, I'm very happy with this. This is lovely. Absolutely lovely. Hopefully one year um, I can make it to Hop City. Um, when it comes to festivals, I mean, I'm going to the London Craft Beer Festival this year. Even though the uh, people in charge of the tickets... And the sort of like the money side of things have really fucked up. Uh, which unfortunately is uh, making the actual festival organisers. They're getting a lot of shit. Which it's not their fault. 
So it sort of like left a bit of taste in my mouth of festivals. Because I'm more of a meet up with friends in a tap room, in a bar, that sort of thing. But I'm looking forward to London because it's going to be over a long weekend. And I'm meeting up with some of my favourite people. Hopefully meet up with some uh, people who I've been talking to through, you know, Instagram and YouTube and some other wonderful folks, ladies and gentlemen. And plus, I've not been to London for yonks. Last time I was in London when I was meeting up with Harry, uh, but I was only there just to get the tube and then to get my uh, train to his nearest train station. So it'll be nice. It will be nice. Um, and plus, I get to go to Colonel Taproom, which I'm very much looking forward to. And more importantly, I'm going to be surrounded by people who I absolutely fucking love and adore. So that's what it's all about for me. Um, but yeah, so festivals, I'm, I'm never like, ooh, I'd much rather go to a tap room and that sort of stuff. But I'd love to go to, to Hop City because I'm... I love Leeds. Um, I'm gut I was gutted that I couldn't uh, make it to any of the sessions in Manchester because uh, I missed out on a damn good time by the sounds of it. But um, yeah, I'm sure anyone who's going or who has gone, depending on when you watch this, I'm sure you are going to either drink some fantastic, fantastic hot forward beers or you will have drunk some absolutely fantastic, fantastic hot forward beers and um yeah lovely lovely stuff and i love the artwork on this can as well so uh yeah definitely worth picking up a can um because it's just a damn good ipa and it's brewed by some fantastic breweries And the only thing that's, you know, stopping it from getting like, whoa, is the fact that there's such stiff competition with this style of beer. So, you know, we're at a point now where there's really no excuse for you to buy crap beer anymore, just because we've got so many great breweries who have somehow, I don't think prosper is the correct word because of the situation, but who have managed to pull through and come out fighting when we're seeing so many sort of breweries, restaurants, uh, startups having to, to, to shut down because of the whole world situation. And I've said this time and time again, this past 16 months, maybe like a few months before the world turned to shit, I don't think I have drank as much consistently great beer, no matter what the style or what the brewery. I think we are getting, especially when it comes to IPAs, we are getting some of the best in the world domestically. Um, and Northern Monk are definitely one of those breweries. Had some lovely um, beers when I was in Northern Monk, Manchester. And um, yeah, so definitely, definitely check this out. We fuck off. All right, yeah. I'm keeping that in by the way. Um, oh, he told a woman to fuck off. Oh. I think I'm going to get the belt now. Not again. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, go check out all the breweries involved. Don't know why I did that. I'm not. A basic white bitch. Well, I am. I am a basic bitch, fundamentally. But um, thank you so much for watching. Um, but yeah, go check out all the breweries involved. I have reviews from all breweries on the channel. Uh, so go look that up if you want to. Uh, you might see a slightly slimmer uh, Peter on, the, uh, on those videos. Um, so you can... I don't know. I don't know what point I'm trying to make. I'm just trying to... Uh, any excuse to be self-deprecating is is a good good time. Because um, if I didn't, I would be at my wit's end. Do you know what I mean? If you can't take the piss out of yourself, then what's the point? 
So um, I'm not saying that, by the way, if I didn't take the piss on myself, I'd be, you know, God knows where. I'm just saying. And I've got a massive hole in the bottom of my sock. Um, and there's a brown towel on the door. So, um, yeah, go check out all the breweries involved. I've got reviews from all of them in the description. Um, I think I reviewed a couple of the uh, Hop City Festival beer. The last one I had was a couple of years ago, I think, and that was nice. Um, and yeah, if you've tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. If you're watching this before you go into Hop City, what are you looking forward to? And if you're watching this after being to Hop City, what did you enjoy while you were there? I'll try and get this uploaded after the weekend so it can be at least a little bit relevant. A little bit more relevant than I am, which doesn't take much because um, not I'm, I'm, am I not only am I the most irrelevant beer tuber on this platform, but I'm also, according to uh, one of the best beer tubers in the UK, and an absolute um, master on uh, reviewing German, Belgian, and uh, some other random European country uh, their beers. I'm the most boring beer tuber as well, and um, not even. If I was a piece of shit, which I am, I admit, I'm like a... I'd like to sort of forge a legion of skanks sort of collective, but for beer reviews. So if anybody's interested and you're a, a degenerate with a foul mouth and a politically incorrect humour, let me know. Um, but yeah, so not even if I was a piece of actual shit, flies would be so bored of me that they wouldn't even hover over me anyway i could have executed that um sentence a lot better but i'm just drinking good beer and i've got i've got a nice pie waiting for me downstairs not that sort of pie you dirty dirty bastards and i am a little bit hungry to be fair so yeah anyway cheers for watching um 22 minutes talking about beer who am i rampant line beer reviews uh, well, you're getting like not even a third of actual information um, that you would in a rampant line beer review is beer review. But um, yeah, I'm just stalling now, so I need to end it. And I'm not going to talk to that person to the side of me because that's a trait that I need to stop. But um, yeah, cheers for watching. You all take care, stay safe. And this is better than watching the news anyway, so don't complain. And it's free entertainment. Do you know what I mean? And look at that, I'm all misshapen because of my uh, chubby exterior. Well, it's more than chubby, let's be honest. Anyway, cheers for watching. You all take care. You all stay safe. If you want to wear the mask, wear the mask. If you don't want to wear the mask, don't wear the mask. Don't kick off at people because they're not wearing a mask. Don't kick off at people because they're wearing a mask. Just live your own life. Be good to each other. And if you get the opportunity to go to uh, events like this, Grab it by the horns. Nearly thrusted my crotch. Not going to do that. Um, unless uh, Lucy the cunt's watching. Topical. Topical. Why is that topical? I don't know. But um, yeah, so shot on my tits. See you guys later. Unnecessary. Unnecessary. I know it's just terrible.